The experiment you are going to see relates to several seismic tests carried out at the laboratory of Perugia Engineering University on one prototype realized by the Amedua technology. The prototype reproduces a two-story building in its actual size, being 4.2 for 3.5 meters on plan and an eaves high greater than 5.6 meters. Four vertical walls and floors were used respectively PSM80 and PSS80 panels without additional reinforcement. Vertical panels were connected to the foundation realized by PSM80 panels through the use of our angular meshes, generally used for connecting the panels in correspondence of the junctions. A staircase was placed on one side to connect the two floors. The successive phases of work have given to the building the look you see. The earthquake action was simulated through the excitations produced by one mechanical exciter able to generate horizontal thrusts with variable frequency and magnitude. The structure behaves as an oscillator endued with a known vibration period and submitted to impelling cyclical forces. In order to test the prototype under the most severe conditions, it was decided to carry out a third series of tests with the mechanical exciter placed on a level with the eaves, on the side adjacent to the staircase. Indeed, the structure, because of the presence of the staircase, shows an asymmetrical configuration that submitted to the horizontal actions generates some twisting stresses. During this third series of tests, accelerations of about 10 meters by square second were noted when reaching the resonance frequency as in the previous cases. The maximum displacement noted on a level with the first floor were about of 0.3 millimeters. Considering the weight of the building equal to 170 kN and the weight of the global seismic loads, it can be gathered that the force through which the structure was stressed was higher than one expected from a seismic event of the first category, which is the strongest force provided for by the Italian seismic sector rules. As you can see, the M2 building did not endure any sort of damage. The results obtained by this test corroborate the course undertaken by Emme Due since a long time and represent the scientific confirmation of what experimented by nature more and more times. 